To get started, download the exercise on GitHub at github.com slash jtrent slash reason kata map. Once cloned, change directory into the reason kata map directory and run an npm install. Here we have a couple dependencies. The BS platform dependency allows us to compile our reason to JavaScript. Note the build scripts in the script section using the bsb command from this package. The other dependency is bsgest. This is a buckle script version of the jest test runner that allows our tests to be written in reason. The exercise already has its small test suite in the tests listy test.re file. To get started coding, we'll remove all but the first test. The first test defines what should be returned by map for an empty list. We'll run the test in terminal with npm test. Here we see reason caught a map source, no such file or directory. So let's create that source directory by running make dir source. Running npm test again, we get a new error. Unbound module listy. Let's create the new file by touching source listy.re. Rerunning the tests, we get yet another error. Error unbound value listy map. Our map function doesn't exist in our module. Let's write a placeholder noop function by that name in source listy.re. We'll start with the module keyword and call our module listy. The contents are wrapped in curlies. We bind expressions such as this function name map using the keyword let. It currently takes no arguments, hence the empty parens. This is also called unit. It uses a fat arrow, much like ES6, and the function body is empty. When we test again, we should get a new error. This function has type unit and returns undefined. It applies too many arguments. This is because in our stub implementation, it takes no args. But in the test, we're applying the function with two args, the transform function and the list to map. Let's adjust the parameter list to take the transform function and the list to transform. Rerun the tests and we get the next error. There's a lot in this error. I'm reading it as the test wants this function to return a generic list, but you're returning nothing in your function. Let's change the return value of the function to be both the correct type and value for the first test, an empty list. Rerun the tests. And finally, the first one passes. It's green. Awesome. Let's restore the next test. This test uses a real transform function that squares all integer input. Let's run the test again. The expected value is a list of 1, 4, and 9. It received an empty list. The odd printing of the expected list could be attributed to the implementation of the list type in reason, or perhaps it's the in-progress nature of bsgest, I'm not sure. List in reason is implemented as a linked list where the head element has the first value and a pointer to the rest or tail of the list. Now that we understand the test output a bit more, we need to introduce some branching to make both tests pass. We'll accomplish this with pattern matching. In reason, pattern matching is invoked with the switch keyword. We can adjust our implementation to match just the original empty list pattern. If we rerun the test, not surprisingly, still just the first test is passing. We haven't introduced the pattern match for the second test. In the output, we do see an interesting warning. 
this pattern matching is not exhaustive. Let's introduce a pattern that will help the second test to pass. We add another pipe, indicating a new pattern. Let's add an underscore, which indicates the default pattern. And then the expression to run when the pattern is matched comes after the fat arrow. We'll hard code the value needed by the test. If we rerun the test again, again, all the tests are green. Time for the next test. Again, we're red, failing. This test also wants a transform, but now we're operating on strings, taking lowercase strings and making them yell. It seems time to support the general case for the transformation. To adjust our pattern, I reach for my usual functional pattern for a non-empty list. This would be head separated by the double colon or cons operator followed by the tail or rest of the list. For this pattern, I want to transform the first element and then recurse through the remaining elements, passing the tail back to the map function. Rerunning the tests, we get a new error. Cons is not supported in Reason. Please use the array spread operator instead. We can change our code in the pattern and in the resulting expression to use the list spread syntax. We rerun the tests, and we get a new error. Unbound value map. If we look at the reference to map on the specified line, it's our recursive call to our own function. It looks like, just as in F sharp, the compiler requires us to give it a hint when we use recursive functions. We'll use the rec keyword before the function name and rerun our tests. And they all pass. For funsies, there's one more test in the suite. Let's uncomment it and rerun our tests. And we did it. We used a test suite to drive our development of some reason code. Now we have our own map function. The errors have helped us learn some things about the reason syntax and the compiler along the way. I hope you liked the process. I thought it was fun. What else did you learn in this process? And what are you going to write next?